Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut out a Lexan body. Well guys, before we get too much further, I just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. And I really hope that this benefits you in some way. Now what you see in front of you is a body that I have painted previously on my channel. I'll link the uh, link up to that video about here. Now, if you wanted to follow along with the progress thus far, the first way is with an X-Acto blade. And uh, that's a pretty self-explanatory process. The second way is with a pair of curved Lexan scissors like these. You can see this has this kind of curve on here. Most Lexan scissors do not have this uh, heavy of a curve and it makes cutting out these wheel wells a little tricky but I'm gonna show you a trick on how to make that work so that you get a nice clean cut all the way around. Now, whenever I'm cutting out a Lexan body, I always like to start with the wheel wells. Uh, I find that a lot easier once the wheel wells are out of the way to do kind of a finished cut. And then we will cut the back end of this body out, this rear bumper. We'll do kind of a rough cut all along this edge right here. Uh, and then finally do a nice clean cut once we're finished up. So first step is to take our pair of scissors. And one thing that I'd like to mention to you here is, is that you always want to use kind of a technique with these scissors is rotate these scissors back a little bit when you're making your cut. This way, when you get up into this edge right here, you can see where my hand is. It is outside of the body. It's not all ramming into it, making it difficult to make this cut. So just lean that back. Also, always cut on this edge of your scissor. Never get out to the tip, because that's always gonna leave you these jagged cuts whenever you're making that, uh, that cut. So let's start with a rear wheel well, and we'll, we'll start making our cut here. And you know, like I said, once we get up to this point in the body where we're gonna make our cut, we're gonna lean our scissor back. We're never gonna cut like this. So always lean that scissor back and slowly and precisely make your cut as you move around the shell. And you see, I'm never cutting right up to the end. I never do this. So I'm always gonna try and keep on this rounded edge of that scissor. You can also flex the body like I'm doing. This will help you get in the cracks and crevices and just slowly make your way around as you make your cut. and go ahead and trim this off. So you'll notice as you're looking right here, see this cut got a little, a little bit on the jagged side. Uh, this happens because I was not cutting with that scissor properly. And you can see right here where I snipped right to the edge of that um, scissor. And you'll notice once I carried forward, you see how much smoother this has gotten. So this is an example of uh, how you use that scissor to your advantage. And you can always cut your line a little bit shallow and then do kind of a finished cut. So if we come to this other side over here, I'm gonna cut away our rear wing. And do the same thing that we did on the back, but this time I'm gonna use the technique properly. I'm also going to do kind of a shallow cut so I can show you what I mean by doing a shallow cut and then doing a finish cut when you're done. So now that we've done kind of our shallow cut, we've got the majority of the material out of the way. We're going to use that same technique where, we're, where when we get to this point of our body right here, we're going to make sure that we're leaning the scissor back, never do straight up and down. And, all, and never cut right to the end of our blade of our scissor. See how this is kind of in the way right here? You can cut this off so that that's out of the way and that makes it easier for you to get your, get your cut done here. And again, slowly and smoothly make our cut. Now 
Now look at how much cleaner our cut got there. You can see the big difference between using the technique properly and uh, rushing and getting weird angles and things. So that's kind of the secret with these curved scissors and cutting out these wheel wells. Now I'm gonna cut out the front ones, but I'm gonna speed up the video here. And no sense in watching me cut that slow. So bear with me here. And when we get back after cutting out the wheel wells, we'll cut out the rest of the body. Okay, so now with our wheel wells cut out and out of the way, this is where I like to continue forward. I like to do the hardest part of this cut next. So that's this rough cut that's around the back of this bumper right here. So uh, once again, I'll speed that process up. There's really no sense in you watching me cut it slow. Now with our rough cut done around the back of the, of the bumper here, you can see we have kind of a body that's starting to look more like a body. Now we need to cut off this extra flashing that's here. We're gonna use that same technique that we used before about not cutting all the way to the end of the scissor, but we're gonna hold the scissor in kind of this position like this. This way as we move across the body, you see we're cutting a nice straight line. So again, we're gonna try and avoid cutting to the end of that scissor. So always use this edge of your scissor and make that cut slow. Now you see how I pulled this body in front of the scissor? This will make things easier as you're making your cut so that the scissor is not interfered, uh, the body rather is not interfering with the scissor. So we've made our nice cut. You can see how cleanly this has come out. If you wanted to come in and clean up some of these areas right here, you can do kind of a, a finished cut. Just trim this up, be nice and slow and steady with it. <clears throat> Once again, take our scissor and try and keep it all in one plane. Just go nice and slow. Now, one of the reasons I like using a scissor is because you see where my hand is. You see it's kind of outside of the body that way. I'm not uh, having interference as I'm cutting it. And that's it for the side. Now, the front would do much in the same way. Now, with the front, I find that if you make little cuts right here where this body curves, just cut right up to the cut line. Cut one right here. I've rotated the scissor around now and cut one right here. This will help you make the curve as you cut. Do the same thing. Cut kind of a triangle out here. Like so. Then start making your same cut as we did on the side. Now you can see what I mean about cutting those two lines in there. That makes things just so much easier when you're making that curve that the body is not interfering with your ability to cut. So this is a kind of a tip of years of messing these things up. Now we're coming around to that curved side again. So you'll see what I mean when we cut that away. You see that just falls away. It's now completely out of your way. Just makes things so much nicer. Now it's okay if you don't get that, get on that cut line the first time around because you can always come in with your scissor and do kind of a finish cut. 
Now getting to the back, we'll have that same pro process and the same way, see we made this rough cut that we have here. And as I make this cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off. Just come right through and just trim that out of the way. Do the same thing back here. Just go ahead and cut this out. Now this is the most challenging part of making this cut. And uh, this is because you want to leave a kind of a rounded edge right here. You never want to leave these hard corners if you can avoid it. The body will be prone, body will be prone to crack in that uh, line. So that's just kind of a tip for you. Another tool that you might find beneficial is a body reamer. This can be very beneficial for making those corners rounded. This is not a required step. It's just something that I wanted to show you as a tool that you can use. So you give it kind of a push and just twist the tool and this will leave a hole here. So that will give you that rounded corner for you to be able to cut to. And I'll do the same thing over here. These tools are very, very sharp. So if you are doing like I am doing with your hands behind the body, make sure that your fingers are, are across the gap that you're poking so you don't poke this thing into your hand. So the next step is go ahead and cut this out. So we'll just start making our cut on our cut line here. And we're gonna cut right up to that hole, trying really hard just to snip off right at the hole there. And the same thing over on this side. right up to your cut hole. There we are. Now this is a difficult part because we do need to uh, actually cut this away here and we're not gonna be able to get our scissor in this corner. So we'll just kind of start here in the middle and start making our cut. And it's important in bodies like this one that you don't cut right up to your cut line and I'll show you why in just a second. Now we're gonna set this aside for a moment. And we're gonna focus on this rear bumper. So you can look at the rear bumper right here and see these like draft holes that are right here. Now you don't wanna cut right up to this bumper. And that is because when you go to mount it to the body, you won't have anything to stick it. And then you'll, you'll have issues cutting that out. So you do wanna cut this one a little bit long so that you'll have some space. to put the stickers on, or to put the double-sided tape on, rather. This does not have to be overly neat as of yet, and you'll see why in just a moment. The same thing, we're gonna cut this a little bit long. We're gonna come up on the top and do the same thing. So we're just gonna cut this a little on the long side. We're gonna use our same technique from before when we're making these curves. Lean that scissor back so that you can, you can get a curved line as you cut. You'll see what I mean here. You have that little bit of a curve. And when you struggle with the Lexan being in your way, just cut it out. We'll learn something from our, our other cut here. We'll make a couple of cuts here. So that we can make this this corner a little easier. And continue cutting. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the bottom, get this, this rough cut that we did cleaned up. Use the same techniques we've been using before. Uh, lean that scissor back when you're making your curves. 
and stick as close to your cut line here as possible. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you why it matters that you leave this a little bit long and it doesn't matter that all of this up here is a precise cut. And it's because this is actually gonna fit in behind here. And you wanna cut this so that things fit pretty well and avoid any overlaps and any problems that you have in that area. So you do wanna take some time and make sure that you can, you can cut that right up to that cut line. And in our case, it looks like we can cut right up to the um, to the cut line here for the um, for the tail lights. Now I'm going to leave it just a little long so that there is some kind of separation in here and try to uh, prevent some light bleed if we do decide to put lights in here. So now that that is all cut out, you can kind of see a little bit of our finished result here. We have the bumpers all lining up like it should, giving us more of that finished look. And that is really it for cutting out a Lexan body. Well guys, I hope you can see how easy it is to trim out a Lexan body. And if you benefited from this video in any way, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a subscription, and don't forget to hit that bell. I do mention this in all of my videos. If you're not hitting that bell, you're not getting notified when the new content goes up. So go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Well, that'll wrap it up for today, and I hope to see you in the next one.